55. To answer book question number one. Show is the correct answer. The ratio between 6 to 14 is the same as form. We can write 6 to 14 by divided by 2 because we have here even numbers. 6 divided by 2 equal 3 and 14 divided by 2 equal 7. Then the ratio would be 3 to 7. The ratio between red circles and the total. How many red circles here? 1, 2, 3, 4. And red plus yellow, 4 plus 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 plus 4 equal 10. Then the issue between the number of circles was red and the number of circles yellow and red. The total would be 4 to 10. You must divide it by 2 because we have even numbers. 4 divided by 2 equal 2 and 10 divided by 2 equal 5. Then the ratio between them equal 2 to 5. Question number three, the opposite figure, we want to find the ratio between line segment EC to EE. EC here, from A to C, we have two parts equality. Look at here, we have A, B, C, D, and the last one, E. We have four parts equality. The length between E to C, we have two parts. And from P to E, one, two, three. Then the ratio between them will be two, two, three. Choose letter E. Okay, next question, number four. The ratio between two sides, lengths of square, will be one to one. Because all sides is square are equal to lenses. Question number four is the ratio between two sides lengths of square. We have square. Square has four sides are equal in lenses. Then the ratio between two side lenses of square one to one. Number five. To find the same as four of the ratio six to twelve, we must divide it. Two terms by six because six is the height common factor between two numbers. Okay, this will be one and two. Then you must divide it by six. Choose the third C. Question six. Which of the following operations is showing ratio? We know the ratio combined between two quantities which has the same units. Okay, we must Choose letter what letter C for every student who likes math, person likes science. We combine between two quantities which have the same units. Okay, combining between numbers of students which has or which uh, likes math, and we have two students like science. But letter A give us two students like math than science. No, it's not the issue. Letter B, two more. Two more students like math than science. It's not the issue. Question letter C. You won't find comparison is showing the ratio. Ratio combined between two quantities which has the same units. Such as that letter C. For every student who likes math, two students like science. For every student like math, two students like science. Letter D. Fewer students like math than science, no? Okay, we want to find the ratio between two numbers. So what is that letter C? For every student who likes math, two students like science. We can combine between the total number of students which likes math, which is at 50, and the two students like science, such as at 30. Look at this word, two, okay? We must choose letter C. Why? Why? Because we have this word two. Two is comparing this sign two between first and second. Okay. Understood letter six. He asked about the ratio. Ratio comparing between two numbers. This sign it will be two or two what? Two students like comparing between 
for every student who likes masses to students like science. The suit you can compare between the total number and the number of students which like the science. But do, don't write uh, more than or less than or like than. No, don't choose letter A or B or C or, or D. You must choose letter C for every student who likes math to students like science. Choose letter C about question six. Okay, comparing between two quantities which has the same length. Question seven, the ratio between apples to oranges is four and seven. In the ratio between oranges to apples, what is the difference? Okay, what is the difference about this ratio? He give us the ratio between number of apples to oranges, four and seven. And then the ratio between oranges to apples could be seven to four. What is the interest about this ratio? 724. Choose the letter B about question 7. Question 8. The total number of students in class is 40 and boys is 15. And then the ratio between girls and boys. Okay, we write girls, boys. The ratio between them. We have the total number was 40. It's the total. He give us the ratio between what? He give us the number of boys. Number of boys 15. 15 plus 35 or plus 25 equal 40. Okay, because the total number was 40 and they give us the number of boys 15. And then the number of girls it will be 40 minus 15 equal 25. It's the number of girls. You want to find the ratio between number of girls and number of boys. You must divide it by 5. To simplest this ratio because the number can be divided by 5 if 1 equal 0 or 5. 25 and 15 can divide it by 5. 25 divided by 5 equal 5. 15 divided by 5 equal 3. Then the ratio between them 5 to 3. Choose the third D about question 8. Question number 9. Which ratio should mean the same thing as 19 to 1. 19 to 1. 19 to 1. Choose the third D about question number 9. Question 10. Hany has six pencils and nine pencils and 12 notes. Which is me statement is not true. Not true here. The ratio of pins and pencils 2 to 3 or not. Letter C. Okay, letter C. We want to find the ratio between pens and pencil. How many pencils here and how many beans? Beans here was nine. I mean beans and pencils. Pencils six. We can simplify by divided by three. Nine divided by three equals three. Six divided by three equals two. Then the ratio would be three two. Then the letter C is wrong. You must choose the letter C because you won't find not true. Okay, not true. It will be letter C because the ratio between number of Pins and number of pencils, it will be 3 to 2. Don't write, uh, the ratio will be 2 to uh, 3 to 2. Don't write 2 to 3 because letter C is the fault. Okay, understood. And letter E and uh, B and D exactly. Because if you won't find the ratio between pencils in the same order, write pencil. In the first pencil, two beans, two little book. We can raise the issue by three first this number here nine, six and nine and twelve. And then you can divide it by three. Two symbols in these numbers. Six divided by three equal two. Nine divided by three equal three. Twelve divided by three equal four. Then you must choose letter C because letter C is strong. The ratio between numbers of pins, pins here, two pencils, three and two. Don't write two and three. And uh, what about letter 
letter D is the issue between pencils and things. D is true. Two to three. And the issue between pencils and notebook. Pencils and notebook. Two, four, one, and two. Because two have a four. 